Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part three of my WordPress newspaper theme tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to finish all the HTML and CSS that we need to create this really nice WordPress theme. And the reason why I keep doing these WordPress tutorials is this WordPress tutorial series has led to more people being employed than anything else that I have done. From all the emails I've received from you guys, I believe that employers are hiring people right now who understand how to program WordPress. And I'm going to provide you with continuing tutorials on this subject. If you haven't seen part one of this tutorial series in which I created this simple theme, you should definitely watch that first. Then you will be able to create more complicated themes like we have right here. So I'm just going to jump right into the code and then we'll proceed from where we are from the last tutorial to where we are today. And as well as I provide a link to a tutorial on how to create create this featured content tool we have up here, and also a link back to part one of this tutorial series. Okay, so now we're over into the code. I'm gonna make changes here to this code on the left side, and you're gonna watch how it changes over here on the right side, and this is the way I program. I do HTML, then I go in and clean up the CSS. So we're gonna come down here to post lists, that's this stuff right here, and I'm gonna clean it up. And basically here with this lorem ipsum, I'm just gonna cut off the end of it. That's all I'm gonna do, and I don't need this break statement in here anymore. So that's gone. So all I did was cut that from the previous tutorial. I'm gonna leave click for more inside of here. And then I'm gonna come down to image source, and I'll link out to a picture of a shark. Featured content, images. Okay, for alt text, I'm just gonna type in shark. Like I said, this is all going to change whenever we get this all together. But for now, this works, and this is actually gonna be 85 by 85. And I'm gonna leave everything else there the same. And actually, I'm gonna copy this guy right here. And then I'm gonna delete all of the old content from the previous theme that we had. Then I'm gonna look and see exactly how many of these we need. We need four of them, so that works. So I'm gonna come in here and just paste those four times. All that that I just showed you right there. And if we file save that, jump over here. You can see that this pretty much is fixed. I'm gonna to have to jump over into my home.css file and find title, host title, background color, and change this to FFF. So that's white now. File save that, jump over here, and you can see that everything is real nice looking. Everything's all set up here. Pretty much exactly the same as what we had here. So now I gotta create this bottom part. Again, jump over into index, go down here to the end of this UL unordered list, and then before this div closes, and all of the code used in this tutorial is available in a link in the underbar. So I'm gonna create another div, and I'm gonna give it class, more, post, and then I'm gonna close this div off, put in a little mark in here, end of more post div. And that just allows me to easily see where this div opens and where it closes. Then inside of it, I'm gonna create another div, class is equal to recent post, give it a name. And then I'm gonna create an h3 tag, give it a class of recent. And I give all these things class names so that I can easily change them and edit them with CSS, post, Title goes here. And again, this is gonna be dynamic whenever I get this all fixed up. And I'm gonna close that div off there. And you could actually do this again. Copy, paste, end of, this is gonna be recent posts. Then I'm gonna create an image source going to be equal to includes and like I said I this is the way that I create themes I couldn't find any other video tutorials on how other people create themes so as far as I'm concerned this is the way to do it or at the very least this is what works for me alt is equal to and I'm just going to call this polar bear width is equal to 150 pixels height is equal to 150 pixels recent image and then close off that image tag very close to being done and then after the image I'm going to come in here, create a paragraph, give it a class name, recent, excerpt, and then I just need some lorem ipsum. I'm just going to scroll up here and grab some of it and scroll back down and then just paste that in there. Like I said before, that's just a placeholder. Then I'm going to skip to the next line, create a link, reference, and I'm going to leave it empty. Create a class. It's going to be called click for more. And I'm just going to put more inside of here and then close off that link tag and then close off the paragraph tag. Then I'm gonna have to select everything, these divs right here, and I'm gonna have to create copies of these. So I'm gonna jump over here and you can see here, we need eight of them. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's seven, and then eight from the original. File save it, reload it, and you can see there is all the stuff out there on the screen, but it's not been styled, so I need to go in there and properly style it. So I'm gonna jump over into home.css, Scroll way down to the bottom and start doing all the CSS styling that is needed for this guy. So we got recent posts, which is that div that surrounds everything. And I'm going to give it a font of 13 pixels, line height 1.4, Georgia, and serif. 
text color, 666, which is a gray, padding, top, 10 pixels, padding, right, 3 pixels, padding, bottom, a 15 pixels. I'm just lining up this div so it looks nice, padding, left, 3 pixels, background, color, which is going to be white, and the width of the div is going to be 160 pixels. Chose that so that I can have 8 on the screen that look real nice. Float left, so that's just going to make all the divs float to the left side of the screen. Text align is also going to be left, spell that right, inside of the div. Margin left is going to be equal to 5 pixels. Margin right is going to be equal to 5 pixels. And margin top is going to be equal to negative 10 pixels. So let's file save that, reload this, boink, and you can see everything's lined up real nicely. There is one extra one in here. I'm going to have to delete that out, but you can see if you jump over here, the only thing that's really messed up is the title. So we have to go in there and fix that and get rid of this one extra one. Don't know how that slipped in there. And let's jump in here and fix the final thing, which is recent title. This is also why it makes sense to give everything a name, like recent title instead of title one, title two, title three, because I've seen a lot of people do that. Color, give it a blue color, dark blue, padding. 0 pixels, margin left of 0 pixels, text transform, uppercase, you saw previously this is just going to force the text to be shown in uppercase, and the font is going to be bold, 13 pixels, line height 17 pixels, Helvetica, Sans, Sarah, right like that, and that's closed off, file save it, jump over here, reload it, and you can see everything is lined up perfectly, so the only thing I got to do now is fix the footer. So to do that, we need to jump into index and come down to the footer area. And I'm actually going to steal some information from the sidebar here to just make this real easy to work with. So I'm going to copy this guy right here, scroll down to the bottom, go into my footer area, and I'm going to create a div class is equal to footer content is its name. Put an h3 tag inside of here, and I'm just going to say pages. Again, later on, this will be dynamic actually very, very soon. In the next tutorial, everything's going to start becoming a lot more dynamic. Paste that inside of there, div, close the div off, end of footer content, and then I want three of those in there, paste, paste, and then just change one more thing. Right like that, file save it, jump over here, reload it. Well, you can see everything lined up over here, except we have these bullets and things are a little bit mangled, so what's that mean? We need to jump into CSS and fix it up. So I'm going to jump into style.css, close that off, and come down here to the footer area, background color's fine. Text align center is perfectly fine. Text color white's fine. This is all fine. Okay, so we don't need to do anything there. So what do we need to change? We need to change footer content. Text align. Well, we want that to be aligned to the left. And it's this is the div that I'm working on right now. We want each one of those boxes to be 300 pixels. Padding on left is going to be 10 pixels, so we can separate everything apart. Padding bottom is going to be 15 pixels. And then we want to float all these guys to the left side of the screen inside of that div. And then I need to perform certain actions to get rid of that. Actually, let's just file save this just so you can see how this progresses. Okay, see now everything's lined up real nice and neat. Well, we just get rid of those bullets. Not a problem. Footer content, UL, LI, list, style, and ONE. And that gets rid of the bullets. Margin. And we get rid of those bullets. We need to also move these words over, as you can see here move about and communications over. So what are we going to do? We're going to change the margin left. We're going to put negative 30 pixels inside of there. I'll save it and reload it. And you can see right here on your screen that I was able to perfectly turn what we started out with into exactly what I said I was going to create. So that's how you lay out all the HTML and CSS for an extremely complicated theme. In the next couple tutorials, I'm going to turn this HTML and CSS into a WordPress theme that's going to have all kinds of plugins and all kinds of neat tools. Leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.